the modern piano encompasses hundreds of developments that can make the instrument capable of reaching audiences of hundreds or even thousands with its robust tone and expressiveness, expanded keyboard, pedals. There are just hundreds of things that evolved to this instrument that we uh, know and love today. If you haven't seen The Living Piano, it's kind of intriguing when you start to describe what it is. It's a little bit of living history, it's a lot of wonderful classical music, and it's a lot of showmanship. And I think when you put those three elements together, it makes a dynamic performance that all ages can enjoy. What you're going to experience within the next hour is truly a remarkable ride through time. You're going to still go through centuries of development at a time before there was video or digital cameras or even electricity. The, indeed, the invention of the piano is one of the most remarkable inventions of all time. And it took hundreds of years and many people, great composers and instrument builders. And what I have here assembled is just a little bit of the, uh, to give you an idea of what the development was like. Living Piano came about because I noticed how audiences are aging in classical music. And it's important to bring young people into the fold so they can have a lifetime of enjoyment of the arts. I think the biggest challenge that we have as contemporary musicians in classical music is the challenge of making it real and alive for younger people. It would be a great educational experience. I hope that uh, students can partake of this at, at schools. You know, one of the things about uh, piano concerts and their formality is it's really hard to get particularly younger audiences excited. And I think that to get a feel and a flavor, uh, just to keep, keep it visually interesting, the costumes add a real element to the show. I think one thing that's alienated kids and young audiences in general to classical music is the formality. And I've taken these instruments out of the museum so people can actually physically touch them and hear them up close and personal. It's just excellent. It's a, it's a, a fantastic approach, uh, costuming the whole thing. As I, as I say, um, it's, it's an experience that um, young people are not going to forget and better than that I think it will inspire some of them to go on and be involved in piano and piano music and, and uh, in uh, tuning the rest of their lives. One of the great surprises for me with Living Piano is how universal it seems to be. I mean I've done this show for piano tuners, music teachers, retirement communities and elementary schools and everyone seems to like it. And I think it's because of the wonder that this instrument is. Classical music is a kind of Western meditation. It's very pure, it's enjoyable, and especially if you can hear from a ma maestro like Bob uh, in a live concert, nothing can beat that.